Hey, what's going on, my YouTube brothers? Of another mothers and all them peoples. What's going on? It's a nice little day outside. Look at the sun shining. Everything's peaceful. We've had a rough week. It's been cold. We're getting old. It's been cold. Some people been sick. Some people been dead. There's all kind of crazy shit going on. Yeah, I don't see you know, God damn it, fucking ass fly. Oh shit, I'm sorry. Fly flew in my seven. My fly, a fly wanted my seven. I had man, I had to knock him out. He can't have his issue. But anyway, so let me talk to you a little bit, peoples. Ah oh, man, I don't even know what to say. Man, look, why would you call me? At 8 15 in the morning and ask me if I'm going to the hobby store. The hobby store don't open up till nine o'clock. I tell you the night before that I'm leaving to go to the hobby store at 9 30. I'm not taking no riders. I worry about Benny. Alright, Toso, the other side of the track. I don't worry about no other person when it comes to their trains, because that's y'all train. You understand? Bow. I ain't worrying about it. I'm not going to help you with your trade when it comes to go purchasing your trains. That ain't how I do things. Because I'm going to look out for Benny. I play toys. My toys are played with Benny. Okay. Now, you tell me you would like to go. And if I can come get you, you need to ask me. Don't assume this is because I'm going to the hobby store. I'm going to come get you. You go to work every day. The hell think make you think I'm gonna come pick your ass up, waste my gas, and you don't even give me a couple of dollars on some gas, or you don't even buy me some drink. Pow! But anyway, make a long story short. So get the other store. My favorite dude ain't there, Charlie. He ain't feeling well, peoples. And we worrying about him. Cause he gotta have rehab. They gotta send me to rehab. So they gotta send him to rehab. But, you know, with COVID-19 going on, you know, some weird shit going on, so he ain't going to be able to go. He ain't going to be able to go to no certain rehab place because of the weird shit going on. Okay, so to make a long story short, he kind of still sitting in the hospital. I just got off the phone with him and talked to him, and he heard my voice, and he was so thrilled to see that a black man who participates in his show thought enough of him to call him. I love him. He's just like a, a older step uh, stepdad. You know, he's got good advice, and he knows a lot of stuff, and he's taking care of me when I bought a lot of stuff from him. But uh, we need to keep him in his prayers. His name is Charlie for Show Me Model Railroad, Grandview, Missouri. Okay, so let's get off this subject. So let's go on to something else. So we got Trump out there telling lies, talking about COVID is over. COVID-19 is not over. People are dying all over the place, but he just wants you to believe that it's over. I don't know what kind of person on this planet heart is so bottomless where they can actually say, you know, we rounding the curve, rounding the corner, rounding the corner. You're not rounding the corner. Your ass is still in the straightaway. People are still dying. Still, people are still catching it. These people that are trying to take care of us, the nurses and the doctors, I love y'all to death because y'all risking y'all lives. Why this punk ass motherfucker who call himself our president got the best care on the planet. He got the best doctor. Number one doctors in the country. He got. They give him shit to make sure his ass stay alive. I think he got a motherfucking robot. You know, just like uh, 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 Men in Black, the first one, when the dude had the little alien on the inside of him. I think that's Trump. I think he got a little alien on the inside of him. That motherfucker crazy. Anyway, to make a long story short. Huh? We still trying to figure it out. Keep wearing your mask. Keep your six foot. All right. Don't be all out in the street. The street. Pay attention to what you're doing. Look around you all the time. Because somebody ambush you. You're going to be ambushed. Don't forget what I always say. Everybody cool till they get exposed. <coughs> Okay, don't be that person. 
Okay, let's move on. I did some things to the layout. I'm going to post it when I go down the basement. I bought another locomotive, which I didn't need, but, you know, I couldn't pass this up, you know. So I bought another locomotive. You know, I had a couple people that done joined my channel. I appreciate you. God bless y'all. Peace. They done joined my channel. They tell me I'm crazy as a motherfucker, but I like to make people laugh. Because if you can't laugh in the world, you ain't got no business being in the world. Don't forget who you are. You're a person that's in the world. You're a person that circles the world. I'm in the world. I ain't circling shit. I ain't in no alien ass spaceship. I'm not doing that. I'm in the world. I ain't no alien in there. In there. See that ear right there? I ain't no alien in that motherfucker. My head don't open up like Trump's, where his hair piece fall off. I ain't got no hair. I got a smooth head. I ain't got no hair. I'm just a human being. And still try to treat people the same way I want to be treated. So go to Hobbit Stone Day. Okay. I look at some things. I see some things. But I didn't buy nothing. But I bought a locomotive on the outside of the stove. And they really didn't like that. But I bought a locomotive from the man I bought all them other KCS engines from. He a nice dude named Ken. Love him them. Okay, I bought. Uh, he got three more left. I might get them three. And I might not get them three. All right. But it's okay. If I do, I don't. Okay. Um, for some reason, the only thing I bought today was two magazines, two, and a used car. Now, let's get to this used car I bought. I bought a 53 foot car that you put a box in. Okay, I'm tripping because I like it with some other cars that I wanted. But he's trying to charge me while George is there. George trying to charge you stuff the price of what they cost new. I'm not paying no new price for no shit that's been used and brought in and damaged. Really? At the at the train shows, you can get these same cars he had for 7 to $10. What make you think I'm gonna pay forty-four dollars for a car? Fifteen dollars for a car. I paid fifteen dollars for the singles, singles, a uh, standalone uh, car because I actually really wanted it. That particular car. Now, if it's something you just really want, and you got the little money at the time, which George had gave me twenty dollars because I sold him something. He gave me twenty dollars, so I went on and bought it with that twenty dollars. I I didn't. You know, I real appreciate it. Ain't nothing else I really wanted, and I'm glad I'm I pat myself on the back because I didn't spend no whole lot of money. I spent no two hundred dollars, no three hundred dollars, no four hundred dollars. I didn't spend nothing but thirty one dollars. Thirty one, yeah, that's what I spent. Plus the two books, and I'm about to look at them now. Model railroader, model railroad craftsman. Okay, a lot of people got their little pictures and and stuff. I sent a lot of pictures yesterday. To my friend in uh, Colorado, Jay. Shout out. <laughs> my brother. Of another mother. He cool as hell. He took a couple of my suggestions and he applied them to his layout. And his layout is even more spectacular. He got a lot of stuff going on on his layout. Every, every little corner of his layout, there's something going on. That's what I like about his layout. And that fits him perfectly because he likes that type of calamity where there's something going on every spark of his layout. There's nothing wrong with that. But that's what he wants to do. And he can run trains. He's scared the weather, but he likes trains. But he'll take a gondola and put some scrap and some junk in it. He'll take a box car, throw a little ink on it, throw a little dust on it, throw a little paint on it. And rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it like it's like, like it's hot, and make it look old, used and bold, looking like somebody ran over like a old shoe horn. He'll do that. But when it comes to a locomotive, he said he tried it one time, and he say, "I can't do it, Benny. I can't do it. I'm scared." But like I tried to explain to him, you use chalk, and if you don't like the results, you can wipe it off. But he's still scared. But we gonna talk him into it. All right, he's coming up here to visit from Colorado pretty soon, and he's going to come see me. Love that. <laughs> Can't wait to see my little brother. All right. My little brother said, send me some pictures. I'm going to throw them on Facebook for you. 
hate those some of my bitches on Facebook for my layout. Boy, he said, here, look, check this out. You got likes? And then they got the nerve to tell me my layout look professional. I was like, really? Did you fall? Did you fall or something? When you seen that and talking about my shit look professional, I, it's just a layout. I, don't, I ain't gonna, I, my shit don't look no professional. It ain't no such thing professional. It's what you see. It's how you make it. Ain't no such thing professional. When you look at somebody layout that looks a little bit better than yours, all you can say, all you can say to me personally, what I think you should say is it look nice. You got your this together, you got this together, and I can do some of the stuff that you doing. Ain't no such thing no professional layout. I just don't believe it. Maybe on one of them movie shows where they pretend like they have a city or something. And, um, uh, 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 you know, they lay it all out because they got all them set to 